A big conference game coming up this week against UAB. Guys are really excited about it. Um, very good football team, UAB. You know, they won the conference last year, and really they haven't lost a step. Um, they lost several players uh, graduating. Guys moved on, but the guys that have pl replaced them are really good players as well. They're 3-0. and uh, But our guys are really excited to get our first conference home game. Uh, ought to be a great atmosphere. Ought to be a great game. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, uh, one other deal I wanted to update you on, you guys had asked me last week about Stephen Duncan. It does look like that uh, surgery is going to be season ending. Uh, Stephen has a uh, red shirt year still available, so it actually would give him two years. Uh, it would make him a six-year senior if he uh, decided to go through that. And uh, I remember Brandon Dowdy doing that, and that was extremely beneficial for Brandon Dowdy. Uh, with his development in the program. So I did want to give you guys an update on that. With that being said, any questions? How's your quarterback situation? I mean, you going to start Ty Davis or you had that uh, Still working through that. I have an idea about how I want it to go. But um, I don't think it's going to be a one-man show. It could be. You know, you've heard me say it before, just like with Steven and Ty. I wanted to try to get Ty in there, and, and it didn't work out like I wanted it to. Um, so we'll see. But, you know, Ty is, again, kind of the older guy, more of the kind of the obvious choice. But we do have some other guys that I like what they bring to the table with KT and Shanley. Um, we're still working through that. So you could, you could see multiple guys out there. Um, the, the biggest thing for us is finding the balance, finding the rhythm. The offense is flowing. So um, if it takes multiple guys to do that, that's what we'll do. If one guy has a hot hand and he's got the rhythm, then we'll, we'll stay with that guy. Does that method sort of fall in line with where you said maybe Steven and Ty play at the same time, but then it wound up being one guy just because certain packages lend itself to that? Is this sort of that same approach? Uh, Steve, yeah, it could be. It could be. I do think um, the, op the, the the options we have with the three quarterbacks, they're all very similar as far as they all can run, they all can throw. Um, you know, so I don't think the package changes for each guy. I think they can. You know, it's just the system. They're running the system. Um, but we're going to have to get get through that and see. Um, and it'll probably be more of a game time decision. I thought we got a lot done during the bye week. Uh, really was able to evaluate uh, the quarterbacks, which needed to be done. I thought they did a good job through the bye week. Uh, was able to get a jump start on UAB, which we really needed. Uh, defensively, we were able to do some things, reevaluate some things, maybe tweak some things defensively. Um, so, yeah, we got, we got a lot out of it. The biggest thing we got out of it was the recruiting side of it. Our guys were able to get out Thursday, Friday, and some Saturday to go out there and see recruits. And uh, we had a big staff meeting today and went over recruiting and uh, really, really liked uh, what we were able to accomplish last week in recruiting. By the time you take off on Saturday, well, about a month since you last played a home game. So how much are your guys looking forward to getting back out of home turf? Well, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Uh, I love playing at home. I always have. I feel very comfortable here. I feel like our guys will be as well. Um, you know, I can't imagine a better atmosphere for good quality Conference USA opponent and UAB. Um, there's a lot to be proved out there. I mean, they're a 3-0 and team, which is great. You know, you want to play a good football team. Um, we're 1-0 and in conference. We want to keep, you know, that going and, and be 2-0 and in conference. So, uh, you know, it's, it's building throughout the week, but our guys are in great spirits, they're excited. Uh, even after we came back, we practiced yesterday, Sunday, got an extra practice in, and they were flying around. I could tell they were excited about being back at home. This UAB defense is really good so far. I mean, just a lot of, a lot of sacks, and they're really good on third down. What's the biggest challenge you see with them right now? Uh, I think they're, they're front four, really Get, controls a lot of scrimmage well. I think their D-line does a great job in the run game. They do good on the pass rush. Um, they're able to rush for and play coverage, so that gives them a, an advantage. You know, they're able to get pressure on the quarterback without having to blitz, and so they're able to get extra guys into coverage. So, you know, we'll have to be do a great job with our offensive line and, and be sound in pass protection and in the run game. and give our guys opportunities to make plays. But, you know, all games are usually won in the trenches in some form of fashion. So we're going to have to control the line of scrimmage there.
both yourself and Brian Ellis kind of have some ties to UAB. Does that make this game any more personal for you guys? No, it doesn't. I, we know a lot of people at UAB, so it would be great to, to see those guys before, you know, pregame and those kind of things. Uh, looking forward to saying hello to a couple people. But once the game starts, you're just focused at the job at hand. One of the you USA right now and then back in the league, you know, league play this week. So what's that mean to you know, kind of stay that extra leg above the standing to kind of get another win and kind of stay on top of things? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's, you know, you got, we got a notch on our belt by going down to FIU and getting a tough win down there. And it just, you know, from a league standpoint, it gave us momentum. And, uh, we got to maintain that. We got to take that next step, and uh, that's why it's not going to be a defining moment in our season. You know, win or lose, those kind of things. But it does give you a lot of momentum. If you if you can go out there, go win this game at home, it gives you momentum. Now you're traveling on the road, playing another conference opponent. Um, winning does a lot of things. It it, it solves a lot of problems. Uh, you know, everything's better when you win. You know, but. Uh, I, that's why I think our guys are very, you know, very anxious to get out on the field and, and get going to play this game. Coach, kind of how has Stevens' morale been after that man this season was Coach Jordan? He's been really good. I mean, really good. I mean, he's embraced it. As a matter of fact, the day after his surgery, you know, first thing in the morning, uh, he's sitting in the film room watching film like he was going to be the starting quarterback for the UAB game. I sat down with him before the surgery. I said, hey, buddy, this is a great opportunity for you to get better this season, to really continue to develop, to learn the offensive system. Uh, he does a good job of studying film anyway. So, um, you know, he, he's really embraced it, done a great job. I told him, hey, you can be a coach on the field as well. When our, when our quarterbacks come back to the sidelines uh, in practice or in a game, you should always be talking to them after every rep and telling them what you saw. And uh, he's, he's done a really good job with that. I've been very proud of him in that manner. You know, the last time we asked this, it was a week ago. But now that you've had a five week, you sort of stayed behind to get some prep and just evaluate things. Three games into it, where do you assess where things are, where you like it, where you don't like things, and such like that? Well, what I don't like is we're one and two. You know, I don't like that. Um, now, you know, the, the, the common fan or, or somebody might say, hey, well, you, you might be, no matter what you've done, you wanted to, but I expect to win every football game we play in. And so um, I'm not happy with that. Now, with that being said, I do think we've learned a lot about our football team. I do think we've taken a lot of good steps to get better. Um, I do think it is a time, though, for us now to take a big step and go get a big win against a really good opponent to now get the momentum throughout the rest of the season. Um, again, it doesn't define your season, whether we win or lose this game, but it does help you a lot to be able to position yourself in conference play to be 2-0. and uh, And so the mistakes that we might have had in the past, we, we got to make sure those mistakes aren't continuing to raise up. Now, some of it you can't, you're never going to be able, you know, they're, a, team, a good team's going to get a big play on you. You know, it's going to happen at some point in time during the game. But we have to limit those big plays. And then we as an offense have to be able to create big plays. You know, I felt like offensively within the first three games, there was a lot of good things we did. I don't think, you know, I'll be the first to tell you, we stalled out on a lot of drives. I think, you know, we've had momentum, we're moving the ball, we stall out. And, you know, those are things that we're trying to, fix and and to get better at and uh you know there's there's for me it's about putting the ball in the end zone i don't think you're going to beat a good football team kicking field goals you know i thought at fiu um when we when we kicked the field goal at the one yard line at the time i felt like we needed to do that when we kicked the second field goal at the time i felt like we needed to do that but uh, when you play a team like UAB, we're going to have to find the end zone. Field goals aren't going to go win the game. So those are the things offensively we gotta we got to do as well. What's kind of one matchup you're really looking at is one you guys need to win on Saturday to really give you a good chance to win the game? Well, from, from our defensive side, I think their quarterback does a really good job. Of, he's very accurate with the football down the field. Uh, they are good in their skill positions at receiver. Um, I see him over and over again, even when the receivers are, are pretty much covered, he's able to drop it in there and, and, and put it in really perfect. He, he doesn't have a strong arm. He doesn't wow you, but he, he gets it done. 
So we have to be able to limit those plays that he makes. I look at last week when they played South Alabama, they had three quick touchdowns down the field, you know, just for immediate six points. Um, we have to be able to limit that. Now, will they get their fair share? Yeah, they'll, they'll get their fair share. But we have to be able to say, hey, you're, you're not going to just be able to do that at will whenever you want to. So that will be really important uh, for our defense. For us offensively, it's the same story I say again and again. We now have to go create the big play. We have to be able to get the shot down the field, the one, the deep post or the go route or whatever it might be that is a quick six. Um, those help you win games. And, and when I was here before, we were able to do that. We were able to, we had a lot of good players that when, when things weren't working well, we said, hey, throw it to Taewon Taylor. And Taewon came down with it, right? And I feel like we have guys that are very capable of doing that. We got to now go make that play, though. I hear you say your, your last comment. So it's, do you think you've reached that time where the learning time is maybe up and you, there's a process of figuring some things out as the season goes? And then at some point, you, you guys execute those things. Is this the time now where maybe learning is over and let, let's actually get out and execute? Is that what I hear? Yeah, I, I don't think learning's ever over. And I don't think, um, I don't think. I think we're scratching the surface on what we can be down the line offensively. Um, but this is the time in the season to answer your question when you do need, if you're going to win and have a good season, you need to start making the plays that you need to make. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll either make them or we won't, you know, and I'll be the first to tell you, hey, we, we made them, we, we took the shot and we made it, or, hey, we, we're, we're not making it and there's no excuse for that, you know. So, um our players know that. That's how we live by, you know, what we do. And, uh, you know, I think our guys embrace that. They, they want to be able to, to, to make those plays down the field. So it'll definitely be a point of emphasis for us. But not only that, I think you got to be able to run the ball. I thought we ran the ball pretty good in the first two games, and we weren't able to do it uh, in the third game against Louisville. we got to reestablish the run game against UAB. You know, UAB's not going to let you go out there and, and throw the ball all over the park. They're too good in the back end and the secondary. So you have to be able to establish a sound run game so that, you know, you get the opportunities to take shots down the field. Are you still kind of looking at someone to kind of fill that solidified number two role in the running back? Obviously, Gage has made himself the number mm -hmm. one, but kind of had guys in and out in number two. Has there been someone that's stepped up recently? Uh, I think we're, we're pretty much running back by committee in the second role. I know I said that when we were, you know, just starting out. Gage has established himself. But whether it's McClendon or Josh or, you know, Appleberry, it, it, you know, all those guys are really about the same. And they, they, and I, I like all three of them, you know. So there, there's no uh, concerns there. But it's really kind of who, you know, who who's running the ball well, who has a hot hand. You know, it'll be good to get Gage back and, and you know, hopefully he can carry the workload for, for most of it. But I thought McClendon went in there and did a nice job when we handed it to him against Louisville. You know, he ran the ball hard. So, um, again, all of them are a little different skill traits and those kind of things. But uh, um, I wouldn't say there's just one guy as a backup role right now. Is there anything in particular that's going into the game plan for the UAB game to get Gage going early, especially to take some pressure off your quarterbacks? Yeah, I think Gage is going to have to handle the load. Um, you know, again, we got to establish the run game, but uh, he's going to have to be able to make some some tough runs. You know, they're good up in in the front four, and so he's going to have to make a couple hard three yard runs that don't wow anybody. But hey, that was a tough run for three yards. That was positive yardage, and that will help us in the passing game. And then hopefully, you know, he's able to pop a big one here or there. Um, but yeah, I think. Uh, he, he needs to be the workhorse in the run game for us, for sure.